Hello, welcome back to my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to get right into the weekly reading for the sign of Taurus. This is going to be for November 24th to the 30th, which is exactly the last week of November. Now, of course, your December readings are already up. And uh, I will be doing a new moon reading for you guys for the November 26th new moon, and they'll be starting uh, tomorrow and Monday. But today, let's just get right into your weekly spread, just to see what you may or may not be going through this week. And we're going to start right off with your romance angel messages. Now... For those of you who are used to my channel, you know we're going to do your romance angel messages. Then we'll get into your animal spirits and your actual traditional tarot spread. And of course, if you want to get a private reading, you can follow the uh, link at the top of your screen. Or if you want to donate to my channel to help my channel grow and keep thriving, you're welcome to do so. All of the donations I've received so far are very much appreciated. And the information for that is in the description. So let's get right into it. You deserve love. Nice. Engagement and trust. Wow. All right. Very nice. You deserve love, engagement, and trust. Okay. So different messages, um, but still can be very complimentary. Can talk about the same situation. Again, my regulars know that I don't like to get into those messages until we pull out the rest of your cards. So let's just see. What animal spirits you may or may not be walking with this uh, this week? Now, animal spirits can come in the form of individuals, right? People who resonate with that animal spirit sort of personality or characteristics. They can be energies that are being made available to you right now to deal with a particular situation. And they can also indicate paths or new stages in your life that you're about to enter into, all right? So let's just see, my lovely Taurus. What animal spirits you are resonating with this week? Out the gate, a regular player on my channel, the frog. You know, my collective oftentimes get the frog, water energy. The rabbit is back, earth energy, okay. And we have the hyena. Wow, all right, Taurus. Now, I am a Sagittarius with the Taurus rising myself, so I really resonate strongly with the Taurus rising sometimes. Of course, check your other placements in your chart to see if one of the other re readings may be more um, relatable to your scenario. But let's get right into it. The frog. Water energy. The frog talks about cleansing. Waters that, that cleanse, right? The frog brings with it healing. Um, but more than anything, the frog is that individual or that sort of energy that comes in when it's time to just cleanse, to get rid of the remnants of the old remnants of past traumas. This is a water animal spirit. So we're talking about, you know, cleansing our emotions, right? Clearing out the darkness, clearing out the pain to make room for a fresh start. The one thing with the frog though, is that individuals who naturally resonate with this kind of cleansing energy can oftentimes be friends, right? Or, or, or relatives or someone that you're connected with, but the frog can get very tired of doing this kind of work, right? Um, the frog is very much um, an animal spirit that can come through and help others, but oftentimes at a great detriment to itself, it can get very dried out, literally, uh, from helping those around it. And it really needs to uh, employ some empress energy in a lot of ways in terms of self-nurturing to get the frog back up to, um, you know, back up in, into the swing of things after a period of really doing a lot of spiritual work for others around it. Now the rabbit is an earth elemental. The rabbit is a very skittish, frightened animal, right? The rabbit really bemoans its fate oftentimes. Oh, poor me. You know, he's always waiting for a hawk or something to swoop down and gobble it up. The rabbit can be extremely pessimistic, but more than anything, we talk about fear here, right? Just being very frightened, fearful, um, 
nervous, anxious about what may happen, right? Just being afraid of the future in a lot of ways. Um, and oftentimes this can just be because the rabbit is very overwhelmed by all of the sort of major events in its life, right? Can't seem to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And so in this way, oftentimes rabbit energy, uh, if you're resonating with this, it's like you feel frozen. You know, you don't know what move to make next. Um, and oftentimes, if you are resonating with this kind of energy, it's time to pull back from your usual sort of day-to-day um, -day routine and take some time out to get perspective, right? Um, that's really what's called for when this energy comes into your life. Now, the hyena, interesting animal spirit. It is a fire element. The right side up triangle there is the alchemical symbol for fire, and the hyena is associated with wit sarcasm and humor, right? This is the person who's always the life of the party, always the class clown, as it were, always making jokes and acting as though nothing is very serious. However, the hy hyena oftentimes uses this attitude as a mask to hide deeper issues, right? Uh, to hide hurt, to hide self-esteem issues, to hide the lack of self-confidence, the hyena has been hurt in some kind of way or feels in some kind of way, uh, can feel inadequate. And so the hyena will use its uh, its humor to cover that up. However, it, it doesn't last, right? This is one of these type of people, I'm gonna say, you ever be around people like this? And it's like, you can tell that they're trying so hard to make everything funny, but it feels uncomfortable because you know it's coming from a place of hurt. Right, it's coming from a place of pain. And so oftentimes, this is not the type of humor that's, you know, it's not the, you don't wanna laugh at them or along with them. If anything, sometimes a hyena individual can just make you feel very sort of uneasy. Uh, their energy can make you feel uneasy because you know that where it's coming from is not, is not a healthy place, right? It's not a happy place. So you may be dealing with someone like that Right, or you may be resonating with a little bit of that energy, and of course, you deserve love is very much in tie with that. You know, you deserve love, of course, you do. You know, so let's go ahead and get right into your spread for the week. This is going to be your traditional three card spread. We're going to pull out anywhere from four to eight forecasts for you, Taurus, just to see what you may or may not be dealing with. All right. And again, just take what applies and disregard the rest. Straight out, we have the Ace of Swords, Five of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. So some of you are coming into this week <clears throat> with a great plan, right? You're coming, up, coming into this week with an idea or a plan, a new idea or a plan to deal with a, a particular situation, a solution. Uh, a form of inspiration has come into you and in a lot of ways it feels like a victory because for some of you, this plan or this idea that has come into you is a solution to a big problem perhaps that you've been trying to overcome. However, you do come into this week with a five of swords, which is a lot of bickering and sort of, I'm going to say it's a power uh, struggle. You know, five is the number for power struggles. And so here this week, you kind of come into this energy that's meeting you in a sense of a, a feeling of defeat in some area where you just can't win with this individual or with this dynamic. You're dealing with somebody here who isn't playing very fairly, right? They're not playing by the same rules that you're playing with. And they're being very underhanded about it. They're using a lot of gossip and back talking, uh, backbiting. Uh, backstabbing, you know, uh, actions, you know, they're cheat, you know, and it's like, if you can see the characters there have really thrown their swords down, they're walking away in disgust, right? And this individual has a hollow victory, but in a way you've only acquiesced defeat because a lot of times five of swords, you throw your hands up because you realize you can never beat this person if they're not paying, playing fairly. And the only way you can beat somebody like this is to join them, right? To join their sort of toxic ways, their toxic sort of uh, behavior patterns, right? And so in this way, uh, you decide to say, you know what? You win. I, I, I would prefer for you to have your so-called win than for me to lower myself 
down to your level and you there's a split. Interestingly enough, you end the week with a seven of cups. And what I wouldn't say for some of you, you came into a particular dynamic this week with, a, with what you believe to be a solution and you were met with this power struggle. And I think you end up the week realizing that there is a particular situation in your life that you have been very unrealistic about. And this wake up call happens with this five of swords. It's almost as if up until now, whoever you've been dealing with, you know, you perhaps thought, okay, it's not working out because I haven't found the right solution. But now that you bring the right solution, it still doesn't work out. You realize with Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups is, Seven is the number for dreams and aspirations. But with Seven of Cups, we're talking about daydreaming, wishful thinking, and an unrealistic aspirations, right? Um, and I think you realize that in a certain area in your life, especially with regard to this dynamic, you may have felt that you had the right solution, but at the end of the day, people have to meet you halfway. And it could very well be that you just had this whole situation wrong. You had an idea, <clears throat> excuse me, you had it in your mind that it was all going to just work out as long as you could find the solution. But what you realized this week is that you can try as hard as you want to, but if people don't meet you halfway... Uh, then what you're trying to achieve can be very unrealistic and it's time for you to kind of bring your um, bring your goals or bring your dreams down to the ground to a certain degree and get a little bit of perspective. Again, we're talking rabbit energy in terms of getting perspective. King of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Five of Pentacles. All right, some of you are coming in this week. On top of your game financially or with regard to your career. This is quite interesting, actually. You come into this week um, with a feeling of wanting to help someone financially, right? Uh, you're trying to be a benefactor, I believe, or perhaps a mentor, right? In some area, perhaps in your career, um, you already have King of Pentacles energy in the sense that you have a level of achievement that you, you have already experienced a level of achievement. You have a track record. Um, people respect you. You, you. you are known in your field for being, you know, good at your job, successful, right? These are the things we associate with the King of Pentacles, but you come in and you're met with this Nine of Wands, which is quite interesting. I want to say for some of you, you may be trying to help someone this week, frog energy in a sense, uh, that you're trying to help them over a particular hump, right? They're at the end of a very long journey, perhaps, or there's some dynamic that is that needs sort of your help just to get to the finish line. Um, you may be investing in something. You may be investing in a business that's just about to be failing, um, and you're like the last hope for this business, right? There's some kind of um, dynamic or 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 um, scenario, right, that you're trying to come in, you're trying to help with, uh, certainly for somebody to get through something, but you then end the week off with a five of pentacles. I want to say that for some of you, your help is kind of rebuffed in a way. It could very well be that as much as you try to help this person or you try to help this dynamic, um, there's still a power struggle. Again, five is the number for power struggle, but here we have it with pentacles. Well, pentacles indicates, five of pentacles indicates a power struggle that you lose and you pay financially for, right? It, it costs you financially. Take care. This energy that you're putting into this individual or this dynamic may indeed be, uh, there may not be a lot of gratitude for it. And in the end, it may sting you. You see what I'm saying? It may... How shall I put it? It may, at the end of the day, even though you're the one who's trying to help, it'll turn out that you're the bad guy, okay? You may be coming in to help, you know, I, I want to say it's almost like a scenario like, um, say you have a friend who's going through an abusive situation, right? You have a girlfriend who, who's, who's, who's being abused in some kind of way. You're trying to help her out of that situation by giving her uh, the money to move, right? The money to get herself together and to get out of it. You give her that money and then she just goes right back to that abusive situation. And before you know it, you're the bad guy because you tried to interfere into her relationship. And you're the one who comes out of this 
having to pay the price. You're the one who spent your money for nothing. Um, and there is a, a division in loyalties, right? You find yourself kind of being the one that's like turned out into the street. Not that you don't have your own abundance. It's You know what I'm saying? It's not that this is the scenario you find yourself in, but it's that feeling. It's that feeling of, oh, okay, so now I'm going to have to pay the price for trying to help you. And on top of everything else, you don't want to talk to me because you got back into this toxic situation. This is a very specific reading for somebody who's trying to help a friend or a relative or someone close to them. And unfortunately, uh, you may find that nothing you could do was really going to help them. And uh, they were always going to be back in, in this sort of troubled situation. Judgment, Nine of Swords. Page of Cups. Okay, some of you come into this week really with a new idea about certain things. I'm going to say this is a love connection that you had in the past. I want to say that probably fell apart. And you come into this week realizing that um, maybe it fell apart because of you. You know, Taurus, maybe you were too judgmental. Maybe you were too overcritical. Um <clears throat> Whatever the case may be, judgment talks about being able to see a situation from multiple sides and beginning to understand the other person's side of it um, and letting go of judgment, letting go of hypercriticism, letting go of perhaps some of the guilt that you've adopted on yourself or some of the sort of um, judgment that you've put on somebody else that was maybe a little too harsh, right? Um, you realize that maybe you jump to conclusions, whatever the case may be. There's a feeling of forgiveness, of wanting to let go, of wanting to repair this. You're met with a nine of swords in a sense that I think you come into this week and the events that happened this week uh, make you feel as though, is there a chance really? You know, is there a chance for coming back into this situation? There's a lot of anxiety. It could very well be that this person that you had this dynamic with is also feeling, they're the ones who are feeling kind of anxious and sad because of the way things happened or the way things went. Um, there's a lot of remorse, I feel here. There's a lot of regret, a lot of remorse, a feeling of wanting to forgive and move on, but it's certainly a feeling either on your part or on the other person's part that it's too late. You know, um, Nine of Swords is the kind of regret that we feel, the anxiety that we feel when we also feel guilty for what, how we may have handled the situation, the part that we played in the ruination of a particular dynamic or scenario, right? And so in this way, that's what I mean. It could be you feeling this way. It could be the other person um, feeling this way in a sense that they feel like, oh shit, you know, um, I really fucked up. You know, I really messed up. I said too many harsh things or I, I, you know, I crossed the line. Will I ever be able to get my Taurus back? Right. Or you may be feeling, will I ever be able to get this person back? Certainly when you come into this week with this feeling of wanting to forgive and move past it. However, you do end the week with a token of love. Okay, and I believe for some of you, you will indeed get your reconciliation in a lot of ways. Um, somebody is going to come back to you, Taurus, and they're going to say they're sorry. They want to say they're sorry. They want to give you their cup of love. They want to try again. They want you to know how much they love you. And they very, they feel very, very much regretful of what they have done. And they really just want to fix it. Um, they could be resonating with rabid energy in a sense that they may be frantic that they screwed this connection up with you and that there's no hope to come back. But I think this week, by the end of the week, this individual is definitely going to try to hand you a cup of love in a sense that uh, to let you know how much you truly mean to them and that they're very sorry. Five of Wands, Seven of Wands, and the Emperor. Ooh. All right, Five of Wands is another power struggle. We've got almost all fives, I think, have shown up. We've had Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Five of Wands. All we need now is the Five of Cups. But Five of Wands talks about a power struggle when everyone's trying to be the best. Everyone's trying to be on top. This is a, a war of egos, right? And you're coming into the week with that. A lot of bickering, a lot of arguing. Um, and you're met with a seven of wands energy in a sense that somebody is standing their ground. Somebody is unwilling. They're standing their ground. They believe they're right. Um, it could very well be that uh, you coming into this week with this energy and it could be you in a sense that you're standing your ground. You're saying, look, 
I don't want to be here and argue with you anymore. I don't want to have this constant uh, power battle with you. I, you know, this whole one upmanship and who's the best and who's right and who's wrong. It's not for me. But I do know what I want and I know what's important to me. And I'm going to stand up for that. I'm not going to just, I'm not going to carry on fighting with you. But at the same time, I'm not going to let you walk all over me. All right. You can have your, you know, you can have your sort of sense of entitlement if you want. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to let go of my dreams. That doesn't mean that I'm going to let go of what I believe is right. And I think, again, for a lot of you, uh, Taurus, this week is about dealing with situations that may involve reconciliation or situations where you may have to stand your ground, right, uh, because someone is continuing to try to put the blame on you or put the responsibility on you to fix it. You stand your ground, you end the week with emperor energy, and that's quite interesting because you really end the week in terms of you are in control, right? You are the lead, you are in control. I think for some uh, somebody in your life, once again, because you're standing your ground, and I think this is very much this, uh, related to the same type of thing as the last forecast, because you're standing your ground and because your ground is, you know, your position is based on a moral position, I would say, and really based on you insisting that what's important for your life is important for your life. You're not forcing anybody else to adopt your idealism or your stance, but at the same time, you're not going to let somebody knock you off your square. Put you very, very much in charge, right? Uh, I believe that whoever has been bickering or arguing with you and trying to put you in the position to sort of... Uh, put you in a defensive position, they will be in a defensive position. You are going to be very much in charge in terms of um, stable, powerful. You will have made your point. I'm going to say that whoever you are dealing with are going to acquiesce to your lead. You know, it's almost like, okay, you were right. You know, you were right. This, this bickering was my fault. You have every right to stand up for yourself. It's almost as if you you very much sort of uh, reinforce your dominance and your authority in this particular situation. And whoever you're dealing with is just going to fall into line. Because, of course, you end the week with emperor energy associated with Aries, of course. Uh, and you're going and that person is going to fall in line. All right. Uh, because you stand up for yourself. You're the one standing up for yourself. Right. So it's almost as if you reassert your authority. And the, and the person and, or people that you're dealing with see that. They see that and they realize that. And I think they may indeed give you, give, you know what I mean? They will acquiesce to that and realize that shit. You know what? Taurus was right. Um, I was acting like an ass. Uh, and, and it's like if they want anything to do with you or to deal with you, they're going to have to play by your rules and follow your lead because you're the one who's in charge. You're the one who has the stability, the power. Uh, and not only that, you are, your life in general is moving in a direction of increasing stability and power. And whoever you've been dealing with in this area is going to be wanting that. They are resonating a little bit lower than you, Taurus. And so they're certainly going to uh, not continue to push the issue and very much sort of look to your lead and 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 pretty much at what is it that you want, Taurus? How can I how can I make you happy to come back into the fold, to come back into your good graces? All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. This is your reading for November 24th, 2 to 30th for my lovely Taurus. I hope it resonated with you. If you'd like to get a private reading, follow the link at the top of your screen. Like, subscribe, share, all of that stuff helps me to grow. If you'd like to give me a donation to help me continue my channel and as well to help me thrive and grow and provide more readings, all of that is in the description. But for right now, Taurus, have a wonderful November 24th to the 30th, and I shall see you next week. Bye-bye now.